This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Mauricio Suleiman in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. First of all, Mauricio, we caught up the other day. We're here at the fight night. What an incredible event Lift Promotions have put on tonight. Oh, it's been a tremendous week here in Uzbekistan. I'm very happy we're doing the fight night, final day. And then everybody starts heading home with a very, very uh, warm heart after such a great convention. I look at this show that Lift Promotions have put on, and I mean, Jalilov in his home country, headline act, you've got the, the world title fight between Quadras, and w with this whole event as a spectacle, like look at the, the people ringside tonight, are you proud for the WBC to bring such an event here to Tashkent to Uzbekistan? Yes, I'm very happy, very proud. Um, this is a great motivation. The WBC has held conventions all over the world, from the pandemic, we had to shorten, so we did it in Mexico to have very controlled testing. But now we're out, we're back, and uh, it has been unbelievable. We had uh, Usyk here, Holyfield and Tyson together, Duran, Chavez, you, uh, but also upcoming fighters and a lot of local talent, so it's very encouraging. When, when I look around and see this, you know, the WBC convention has become a very uh, attractive yearly event. There is rumors that next year it is going to be in Bangkok, Thailand. Is there any truth to that? We have several petitions, Bangkok, China, uh, Middle East, even Houston, Texas. So we're uh, just finishing up here and we'll start the year to find the next location. We've recently just had the Fury Usyk card officially announced. How excited are you that we actually are going to get this fight? I'm very excited. It's a long road. The WBC did its part. We were very flexible, very supportive of the ultimate unification for the undisputed uh, championship. So I'm very, very happy about it. I obviously need to ask a few things as well. With Hini Pro Grey coming up for the belts, would it be that the WBC would then elevate Jack Catterall next? He's in a very unfortunate position. He hasn't really got the chance. Do you feel that maybe after this he will get that chance? Well, uh, Jack Carroll is highly ranked in the WBC. We had the session for the mandatories and it, it, it will depend on the result of the fight and what is the decision of Devin Haney in case he wins, if he comes back down or he remains in super lightweight. So there are certain things that have to happen before. Sandor Martin is a mandatory contender. Uh, but Carroll is a great fighter and I'm hopeful that he will be back uh, in the place that he deserves. I know we're pushed for time, but after our interview the other day, um, where you were quite critical of The Ring magazine, you did state that they weren't an organization, they're more just a magazine. They have hit back at you and said that you did say, my WBC, I will defend it if anyone attacks it. They have done, now done the same. What did you make of, of them coming back? I mean, Oscar has tweeted, um, the Ring Magazine themselves have done an article. They seem annoyed that you've done this. They, they reference back to Nganu coming into the rankings at number 10. What do you make of this whole situation between yourself and the Ring Magazine? No, I have not seen what, what they posted and I'm not going to engage. Uh, that's ridiculous. That's for children in school, like hitting each other. And, and it's so unprofessional. What I said immediately was, uh, very unfortunately, Oscar said, that the Ring magazine is the rant ratings that only matter, all other are corrupt and blah, blah, blah. That's my response. I'm not gonna accept someone to call anyone in the WBC corrupt. Regarding the other things, I'm not gonna engage. The world knows what the WBC is. The world know what every position in the industry is, so there's no need to do anything. My final question for you, I know you're a busy man tonight. Thank you for your time. Francis Ngannou comes into the rankings at number 10. I need to ask you this from the point of view of fighters, that maybe the, the fighter that was ranked 15 at that stage, how do you think maybe that it is a little bit disheartening for them that Ngannou, debutant, loses on his debut and then eventually he is ranked at number 10? It is a little bit disheartening. I invite you to read the rules and get educated. You and everyone. The WBC criteria for rankings, among many other things, include the activity of a boxer or a, a athlete in Olympic scenario, in amateur boxing, and in combat sports. 
in other combat sports. And Gano Muay Thai, and Gano was a heavyweight champion of uh, another sport, and he knocked down Fury and lost a split decision. Who can question that? And I'm gonna ask you, you right now. Give me one name of someone who is being uh, unjustly put down because Angano enters that rape. Just give me one name. Give me one I'll, name I'll give you an example of a heavyweight who I feel that potentially should be higher. The likes of Daniel Dubois, who has been in with really tough fighters. I mean, losers against Usyk. He's he's ranked at a 14. That's that's a Dubois. No, he just uh, lost. But uh, who wins, Dubois or Angano? Truthfully, my opinion, I believe Dubois would beat Ngannou. Okay, but that's where you, you had a straight response. But Dubois is ranked, he has fought for, uh, he's coming from another organization, lost. But uh, if, if we pick 20, 30, 40 fighters uh, and ask about how would the fight with Ngannou would unfold, many people stutter. I mean, he knocked down Fury and he lost a decision and he's entering so I feel very comfortable and proud of the WBC ratings committee we will see we'll see what happens I, I understand what you're saying but I feel that the point that people maybe don't understand is that Fury evidently had an off night I think we can all say that Ngannou had a great debut don't get me wrong you never know you cannot speculate maybe Fury could not find a way to because Ngannou was very awkward and Angano took the punch like I have never seen before, and he has very big power. So you cannot speculate and say he had an off night. The result was off. He was knocked down and won a split decision. But you, you don't know if he did not perform because of Angano did. But anyway, uh, in Muay Thai, we have ranked Muay Thai champions, and even one of them won the WBC title in his second professional bout. So there's a lot of precedent, and uh, just uh, it's a matter people like to make news and scream and just educate and see why things happen. And I thank you for the opportunity to clarify this. Well, Mauricio, thank you very much for your time. Always a pleasure on IFL. Thank TV. you so much. Take care.